Okay, so I thought I'd make a little bit of an um video for you on um my review on power drills. Now I use handheld um cordless battery drills every day of my life. And that's no abbreviation whether some days I might use it once or twice, other days I'll be using it for hours on end. Um there's very, very little amount of time when I actually get out the good old power drill itself, the one you plug in, because um, I just don't need it, apart from drilling holes over about 13 mil, whatever I can't fit in the chuck of that drill, then I'll get out another drill. So this is a Ryobi 18 volt lithium ion drill, it's the one that comes in the kit with everything else, I bought mine in a kit with this and the searchlight, um, in a kit bag, which is just here, um, and a charger for I think 300 bucks. They've gone down though. I don't know whether you can still buy them in the kit case, but they have definitely gone down in price because I bought mine when they just come out or when they were just starting to pick up a bit. So anyway, this drill I would recommend to anybody who wants an entry level lithium iron. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I can't see any fault over this drill with any other drill. Now this is my Bosch here that I bought years and years ago for 400 bucks. This is a, I think it was a 24 volt. Yeah, 24 it says on the charger. And this will do, this drill here will do anything if not more than what this one will do. Now this drill I absolutely loved and I miss dearly. And I'll repack the batteries one day, we'll buy new batteries if I ever actually have enough money that I haven't got lined up for other things. Um, so yeah, this is at a dual speed, so there's one, then you have two, which this battery is probably a bit flat, which we can have a look, because it has a, yep, you see that's red when you press the button. Um, so they have a tester on them, it'll have reds, your lowest, um, when you know you need to charge, which this one should be red as well, because this one's the one I took out of the drill the other day, a few months or weeks ago so yep that's red too so they both need charging so it has three levels it has red it has um, amber and it has green obviously green is the best amber is when you're getting towards needing charge um, the drill itself is only well I wouldn't call it a cheap drill at all because this is a cheap drill um, but it's well built it's not the best drill you'd ever have. It's got a very good keyless chuck on it, very good um, damper brake or whatever you want to call it. The only thing is it hasn't got as much guts as some of them do. Although this one here, um, it beats that and that was 24 volt drill. So anyway, you can, I've dropped this everywhere, I've sort of um, spilled water over it, done everything to it. As you can see it's got it's a wall wound, the chuck's fucked. And, um, the outside case I mean it's like when you're drilling and you're rubbing up against a bit of metal or something that happens but apart from that I cannot fault it it runs like brand new I use it for anything up to driving um, coach bolts in um, I think the ones that hold my vice down here which you can see are the big hex head roof screws which are about um, 150 mil long they are they go all the way down in this timber here drove them in with it, no problems, just put in like here, and in you go. So, can't fault that, you'd never get anywhere near it with one of these, or my Bosch probably would have done it, but they wouldn't have liked it too much. So anyway, you get this nifty little searchlight that you can see for ages, the battery's flat, so it's not that good, but it's a very, it's not that bright at the moment, but it's a very, very bright torch, 18 volts. Um, so yeah, anybody, anybody who is in the market for a drill, tradesmen um, even, I wouldn't recommend it for really hard on, you know, heavy tradesmen that are using it every single day of their lives for 10 hours a day maybe. Um, but any home handyman it will satisfy, anybody doing medium duty work it will satisfy. It's actually got a die cast aluminium housing here. It's got proper shock resistant plastic, ABS plastic or whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Now the other thing 
if you're in the market I would recommend a Bosch um, definitely but they're a lot more expensive um, as this one was at the time 350 400 I can't remember what I said before um, which wasn't far off that drill but that was a quite a while ago this is about seven eight years old it's been used a hell of a lot um, but apart from the batteries being knackered it's still good so if you want to buy yourself a drill a Bosch is a good drill but I'd recommend these definitely and this this little Ryobi which is a 14.4 I paid about 14 bucks for its single battery um, non trickle charge I would recommend these for just a light home handyman I just use it for driving screws and stuff because it's a light drill very light and easy to hold but this thing that's the one thing it's quite a heavy drill so if you got um, hand problems like arthritis or that sort of thing it might end up giving you a bit of a pain but apart from that definitely recommendable definitely usable as your um, indicator in the back your spirit level type indicator that will indicate whether you're drilling flat or not on a horizontal plane or what um, so yeah if you're in the market for a drill go to Bunnings have a look around everywhere you'll find them pretty cheap but for lithium iron they're very good quality best thing is you can buy any sorts of attachments any additional number of batteries you could buy 20 batteries if you wanted to if you were that stupid and you could buy angle grind you can buy angle grinders and saber saws all those sorts of things um, the only thing is with the angle grinders and stuff that uses higher current obviously it's going to have a high drain on your battery so if you're in the market for a drill have a look at these um, out of a rating I'd give my Bosch uh, um, probably 95 out of 100 I'd give this 90 out of 100 um, the only 10% fall in it is the fact that the chuck scuffed up pretty easy within first five minutes use and that it's pretty damn heavy and although it's ergonomic it's pretty heavy and um, gets tiresome so there's my review on Ryobi lithium iron drills